Hello and welcome back to our inventory series. Previously we started work on a hot bar for the bottom of the screen and we've got some of it basically set up and working but now we're going to make more management features of our hot bar so we don't get duplicates when we drag in the same inventory slot into a different hot bar content slot. So let's take a look at how that works and update our hot bar accordingly. So when dealing with the hotbar, there's a lot of mirroring we need to do. We need to mirror the functionality of one location to another location. So one of the things we're going to do now is make it so that when I hotbar this apple down here, if I was to drop these apples into the world, I want it to update down here too. At the moment, it doesn't update because this is empty still. Okay, so we need to add that to our scene here to allow for that. Um, so let me just put in more apples here. So easy to test this out like that. Okay, so what we need to do is make our hotbar slot look at and keep track of when the inventory gets updated. So when we do the pre-construct, we're going to take the inventory component here and we're going to do bind event on inventory updated. Plug that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook that back into the hotbar slot there. So it'll call and update the hotbar slot whenever the inventory gets updated. So let's now go back in, pick up some items, go to our inventory, drag in the apple, close inventory, it's there. I can now drag this out and it'll update on our screen here too. Okay. Let's pick it back up. Like that. Okay. So next thing is, as you can see, I can add duplicates because, again, they're just copies of the thing. But what I want to do is I want to make sure I don't get any duplicates down here. So if I were to add index 1 to another index of the slot, I want it to clear the previous slot. Okay. So let me now go back to our hotbar slot and go here. So when I drop something in here, I need to also tell the hotbar in general so I can tell all the neighboring slots to, hey, check what index you got, we're updating this. So I'm going to make an event dispatcher for this, and we're going to do on hotbar updated. And on this on drop feature, we're going to add this at the end as a call. And the thing we want to pass through it, though, is which slot got updated. So... Um, we're going to add a variable to it and it'll be slot and the type for this will be a hot bar slot the name of this widget take name here compile and then from slot here we just do self oh and save now let's go back to our hot bar widget itself uh, over here we need only to set up the binding so all of these can listen to each other so let's go to the graph and on the pre-construct or construct, whichever one it would do, we're going to drag out all of these slots. So we just drag them all out like this. And then we're going to do make array. Actually, I think we could just do bind event. We don't have to make the array, we just do bind event on hotbar updated and put it on a pre-construct because I think they can all be plugged into the same one. Oh. I can aim right, there we go. Yeah, so they can all be plugged into the same one. Okay, and then drag from the event and we'll do bind event. Uh, no, but not bind event, custom create event. Going okay, nuts, there you go. Create event. And we create a new matching event on the hotbar updated. And when we pass through the slot, we can now check what index it is and tell all the other ones to, hey, if you have the same index as the one that's been updated, clear yourself. Okay. So we're going to take the slot here and we're going to get the index, get in between index. And then we're going to go through each one of these. So we're going to drag out each one. Again, I'm just going to I can just copy this and do make array 
and just chuck them all into there. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm missing one. Uh, oh, missing one there too. Okay, and then we're going to do that into a four each loop. So we can go through each one to check if they have the same inventory index as this. So go through that. Drag out the element, search for inventory index. And if that is equal to the same as this inventory index, <clears throat> that means I want to clear it. So I'm going to drag out a branch and drag from that array element. I'm going to do uh, set inventory index. I'm going to set to negative one. And we'll plug that into the loop body and we're going to set it to negative one. And hit compile and save. So let's now take a look at that in game. If I go pick up some items, we need to clear the save data. It's cropped in the save data, you can see here. So I'm going to drag that down into here and then drag in my two as well. And if I was to drag the 10 into here, uh, oh, I have to take to update as well. Whoops, my bad. Um, we have to go back here and tell this to update. Um, hotbar update. There you go. As well as that, we also need to also check to make sure this array element here is not the same ones we're updating here. So just put a little reboot node in there and do not equal to this slot here. And we'll be using and boolean for these two. Uh, otherwise, it's what's going to do. It's going to cycle it, go through the, go through all of them, hit back to the one that's been updated, and then reset it back to negative one. So just never be set. So you need to plug that in like that. So it ignores it. Uh, whoops, I've got to plug that in there. There and oh no 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 no. That goes there. That one goes there, and that one goes there. There we go. Right, let's go. Push plate, and go into my inventory, drag it into my slot. Nicely done. If I drag it into another slot, it will clear it from the previous slot. <clears throat> now, as you can see, when I drag onto other help bar slots, though, it doesn't work. So this is because we have to update our drag detected code to respond differently. So we're gonna tackle that in the next part and I'll see you in that one. So there you go, that is all done. And we can now uh, move items freely across into our hotbar and it updates perfectly fine elsewhere. In the next part though, we're gonna add the feature of being able to swap hotbar contents with another hotbar content, as well as implement the saving and loading of our hotbar setup. So you can watch the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.